Kessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the LSU Tigers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Fighting Irish don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. LSU has one of their best players lining up in their backfield. Lee, expect a huge game from him running the football and maybe even catching a few passes. He's a tremendous athlete, and they'll use him as much as they can. Kirk, great minds think alike. I'm taking LSU. is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Kicks it deep. Dunbar fields it in the end zone. Yuku. Today we get to watch a spectacular athlete at running back. When he's on the field, as he is right now, Defenses really have to tailor their game plan for him. He's a heck of a player, and I really believe that he could have a huge game for them. That makes two of us in. I just don't know if there's enough talent on this defense, especially at linebacker, to compete with such a great running back. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Second and ten. Ball on the 19. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Drop back to pass. Short toss. And he shoved out of bounds. A pickup of about three. Two-yard gain on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 22. They come out in a nickel. They'll drop him for a loss. That's not going to move the sticks. Now this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. They line up to pump this one away. Overstreet punts it, and it's a good one. Butler fields it at the 34. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll get the ball here at the 40-yard line. The halfback toss gets them a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 41. 41 yard The Irish come out in a two tight end set. Spins up field. Johnson with a takedown. A gain of one. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 42. The Fighting Irish come out the shotgun. Lamb gets the call. He jukes him. Richard brings him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Notre Dame comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Lamb on the give. Malone with a takedown. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. It's second down and nine to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. From the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He's going right. 
And they make the stop. About four yards on that play. Gain of four on the play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. Back to ball. It's a tip drill. Drop back four yards on that one. the front. Johnson boots it way up there. Gould signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. LSU Sets up in the eye. Cut. 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 He jukes. Miller brings him down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Shake and bake move, and down he goes. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 25 yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Inside handoff. Makes a move. Here he goes. Soul with a takedown. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. They line up in an eye. Powell with a nice play fake. Throws a lob pass out to the left. And it's caught. Perry brings him down. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Johnson is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Johnson on the inside handoff. Got some open field. Golden with a takedown. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Tiger line up with three receivers. But Powell will throw. No, they're going to hand it off. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Second and six coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Powell is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up across the middle. Butler brings him down. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. They put everyone up on the line. Johnson will run it again. Sheds that one. He's into the open field. The 10. Touchdown, LSU. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. And he hits the PAT. 
And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. LSU is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. Butler fields it in the end zone. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. Lamb is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Lamb is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. off a tackle. Malone with a takedown. A nice job by the offensive line and they pick up a gain of eight. Second and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Holly comes away with a sack. And the blitz might have caused that sack, guys. Yeah, the offensive line couldn't adjust to them sending the added pressure, and the result was a nice play for the defensive end. You're absolutely right. Those big uglies up front didn't know who to block. It's third down and six to go. Ball on 24. Notre Dame in a four-wide set. There's a play fake. Hit as he throws. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And the offense came up with a ball somehow. The quarterback was very fortunate right there. You can bet he holds onto the ball with both hands next time he gets it. The Irish line up the punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Dunbar fields it at the 38. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. LSU sets up in the eye. Tries to juke. And he's tackled. A gain of eight on the carry. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 50. LSU comes to the line with three wide. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Excellent job by the defense to read the draw play. Yep, the quarterback thought he could spread them out and find a hole for himself to run through. But they were having none of that. Third down and four coming up on this one. Ball right around midfield. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. He'll get the goal again. Sanders brings him down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. He got caught grabbing at the face mask. Five-yard penalty. Yeah, but he did the right thing. And he let it go right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Golden with a takedown. Kick up of a yard for the tailback. Second and nine. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They line up with trips to the right. And they hit him in the backfield. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. Yep. There was absolutely nowhere for the quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Powell comes to the line with three wide. He's going to go for the home run. 
and it falls incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. The Tigers are lining up the punt and away. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offside, on the defense. Five yard penalty, still fourth down. It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Parrish calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. They line up in an eye. Play action down the middle. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Notre Dame comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Lamb on the give. A little juke. And he's taken down. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 30. Back in the gun. Look. And they bring him down for attack on the play. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without time. Bam. Lines up in the shotgun. Bam. Back to throw. Looking. Wants to throw outside. The ball is tipped. You can't expect to get a good drive when you're unable to complete any passes. That's exactly why this one didn't get him any points. They line up to pump this one away. Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Dunbar takes it to 32. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. The Tiger line up with two tight ends. On the handoff, Yuku broke away from one. Inside the 30, to the 20, and they make the stop. He picked up big yardage on that one. I'll tell you what, Brad, they need to keep giving this kid the football. He's on a roll. Sets up in the eye. He jokes. And down he goes. They get three yards on the play. Three yard gain on the play. 
LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Miller brings him down. A pickup of four on the play. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. Johnson again. Touchdown, LSU! He got behind those big buffet buses and followed them into the end zone. <laughs> that doesn't feel a whole lot for yards to carry average, but hey, it sure puts a dent in the field. And he tacks on the extra point. With less than four minutes to go in the first to score. LSU, 14. Notre Dame, nothing. like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Bennett fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20. Notre Dame lines up in a double tight set. fake. Holly comes away with a sack. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 14. The Irie line up with three wide. Back. Back to pass. Across the middle. Walker with a takedown. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Third and 10. Ball on their own 20. Notre Dame comes out with two tight ends. Over the middle. And it's incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. Olsen, the intended receiver on the play. Notre Dame, ready to put this one away. Johnson, punts it, and it's a good one. Dunbar, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 31-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 31. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back, steps up. Throws it to the outside. William brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. Here's the give. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. With the carry, five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 48. Single set backfield. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws to the middle. His receiver has it. 
Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Missed tackle. Golden with a takedown. Four-yard gain by the back. Second and six coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. Gives it up the middle. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 31. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Clark gets the call. He jukes. Tackle. So he got enough for the first down there. Yep, nice call to run the ball there on third down. I like it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. A little shake and bake move. And they got him for a loss. A one-yard loss. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. Found his man. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. LSU lines up in a goal line set. He gets another carry. Touchdown, LSU! And that was his third rushing touchdown of the half. We've heard the saying, a guy's in his zone. Right now, this guy's not stopping for anybody. Speaking of stopping, somebody on the defense has to stop this running back or else win for a long, long game. Hits the PAT. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. LSU 21, Notre Dame nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He boots it deep downfield. Bennett fields it in the end zone. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to board off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Lamb wants the ball. We'll see if they give it to him. Up the middle. Can't wrap him up. Johnson tackles him for a loss on the play. They didn't let him get anything going on that play. No, they didn't. Heck, they didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. After one quarter, it's already getting ugly. With the score, LSU 21, Notre Dame nothing. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on their own 18. The Irish line up with two tight ends. Lamb will try the left side. Got some open field. Johnson brings him down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. One man back to you. Road 
with a takedown. The running back gets two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He drives back. Let's it fly. Complete. No gain. No gain on the play. Third and eight. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. The defensive coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. Dunbar awaiting the return. It's off, and it is a dandy. Dunbar fields it for 17 with the spin. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. Some great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? They'll start this drive at the 23. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 23. LSU lines up with three receivers. And he's hammered as he lets it go. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. Snap is high. Throw short, and it's caught. Chifano brings him down. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. I give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. LSU ready to put this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Butler takes it to 25. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They'll go to work at the 28-yard line. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Looks. Look out! It's deflected. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt, but when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Bass is back in the gun. Setting up the play action. Once it all, going deep. It's tipped, and it falls incomplete. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a handle. Third and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. The Fighting Irish come out in a two-time end set. He drops back. Looking across the middle. Gould with the interception. Wheatley lays it on him. This defense just warms to a pass when it's thrown like that. And that's because of two things. Pressure on the quarterback and being in the zone defense. Everybody's facing the play, and if you don't throw a perfect ball, it's going the other way in a big-time hurry. They'll set up shot at the 34. LSU sets up in the eye. Powell gives it up 
the middle. They'll drop in for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 34. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Williams with a takedown. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Third and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation. He's looking. Throws it to the outside. And this one's going to get intercepted. At the 30. He's on the run. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Notre Dame. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. Somebody jumped early down there. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. The repeat a false start will go against the offense. Yep, and that's five more yards they've got to try to pick up on this next play. Unnecessary stuff. And he tacks on the extra point. Better than 12 minutes remaining in the first half. And the score reads, LSU 21, Notre Dame 7. This one deep. Dunbar fields it in the end zone. Takes the move. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll take over at the 20. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. It's just right. Wants to throw outside. Batted ball. Oh, boy. Almost intercepted. That one was almost a disaster, guys. The offensive players get so excited for these trick plays, but when you get somebody back there who's not used to throwing the ball, he's prone to throw it up for grabs. LSU comes out with an eye formation. They hand it off. Tries to shoot. Golden brings him down. They'll get six yards. Gain of six on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 26-yard line. LSU will line up in a jumbo set here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Miller with a takedown. Not much going on that drive. Nothing at all. But you got to give the defense credit. They really stepped it up. Ball on the 27 yard line. LSU lining up the punt. He gets it off. And it's out of bounds at the 34. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll get the ball here at the 37 yard line. Single set back to it. The Irish come out in the ace formation. Back, set to go to the air. Down the middle. His receiver has it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. 
First and ten. Ball on their own 49. Single set back for you. Back. Hands it off. Holly brings him down for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. Ball's loose, and he's stopped behind the line. The offense is lucky to retain possession after that fumble. The coach can't be happy with the running back is carrying the football. Situation here on third and long. Ball in the 42. The Irish come out in the shotgun. Man drops the throw. Wants to throw outside. Rule picks it off. He's hit and got away. And the defense comes up with another one. Hey, good job by that defense to get the ball back. They'll start this drive at the 41-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Throws. Has it to the senior. Livingston brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. They go with the toss. And he throws it to his quarterback. Brought down. I'm sure they were looking to get more than that with that play call as the trick play only nets them a few. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 42. LSU comes to the line with three wide. And they hit him in the backfield. Third down, 15. Ball right around midfield. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Back to Pat. Steps up in the pocket. Look out. Got him on the run. Soul lays it on him. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Powell with three wide receivers. And down he goes. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. It's second down and eight. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Powell lines up in the shotgun. Powell. Steps back to pass. Looking. Gets a tackle. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Powell with three wide receivers. That snap from center. Let's it go. And it's intercepted in the end zone. I thought that was going to be a touchdown. Yeah, the quarterback did too. The problem was, he didn't see the kid covering his guy. And now he's got to go back and talk to the old ball coach and explain, yo, what happened? Uh, let me tell you, that is not a fun thing to do. After he's done yelling at you, you're real quick not to make another throw like that. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Back 
Has four receivers lined up here. Here they come. Richard comes away with a sack. That gives this defensive unit five sacks for the ball game. The defense came into this game with a game plan to put the pressure on the quarterback. It's safe to say they're happy with their performance. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 15. Ace backfield. He drops back. Short toss. Complete. Tackle. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in a game like they did all week in practice. Good job. Third and six. Ball on 24. Let's see if they look the wide out's way. He is in the zone. Drop back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Almost picked off. Well, the defense did call there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Notre Dame lining up the front. Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Dunbar fields it to 30. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 36. Powell back in the gun. He steps up. He's looking. Short toss. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Ace backfield. Powell hands it off. No, play fake. Comes across the middle. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. And they try to set up a screen. Loses the football. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. And that fumble recovery may give this defense the spark they needed. You're right. This could be a huge swing in momentum. Excellent field position to start the drive. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Gets past the tackler. And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. It's second down now and 13 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. With the throw, and it's caught. Benjamin with a takedown. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 33. the shotgun. He drops back. Looks. Across the middle. And he's tackled. They picked up some yards, but it won't be enough to keep those chains moving. They went to the right guy. He just couldn't get away. They're going to try a long field goal here. He gets it up. 
And it sails through the upright. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Notre Dame ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Bullocks fields it in the end zone. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. High formation here. Duke Elliott brings him down. The running back gets two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball of the 22. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. Powell with the give. Sanders with a takedown. The halfback runs for four yards. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 26. Powell lines up in the shotgun. Steps up, looking. Low short, in and out of his hand. Dropped by the wideout. LSU ready to put this one away. Overstreet punts it, and it's a good one. Butler fields it to 29. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They'll get the ball here at the 42. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. Bat pitches out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42. Notre Dame lines up in a double tight set. Here's the option. He laterals the ball. He might have a chance. Benjamin brings him down. Gain of nine. Nine-yard gain on the play. Third down and a yard. Ball right around midfield. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll try to get the first on the ground. And they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Breaks one. They'll bring him down. Seven-yard play. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three. This is the fifth play of this drive. Bat with three wide receivers. Bat, little toss to the right. And he throws it to his quarterback. And they push him out. So 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. Notre Dame lines up in a shotgun set. Bad. Back to throw. Throws to the middle. Complete. And down he goes. Nice catch. But that's not going to move the chain. Notre Dame lining up the punt. It's off, and it is a dandy. Mason calls for the fair catch, and that punt didn't have a chance. It's out of the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. The Tigers come out showing three wide. to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. And he pulls it down. Perry with a takedown. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 42. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Inside handoff, takes off attack, brought down. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. LSU calls a timeout. About two minutes before halftime. The Tigers line up with three wide. And they make the stop. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. LSU comes out of the shotgun, sheds that one, spin move, and down he goes. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. Johnson on the handoff. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front. And the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Look at the power. And he's tackled. LSU takes a timeout. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone number. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Another trip to the Red Zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Looks. The ball is tipped. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. The Tiger line up with three receivers bunch. He's going left, and it's going the other way. Missed tackle, brought down. And that was interception number three for this defense, and they got to be happy about that. They'll start this drive at the 16. 
This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Back on first down. He'll dump this one off. And it falls incomplete. Couldn't complete that one to his halfback. He just needed a little less air under it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 16. Two tight ends here. Up the middle. Tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Broke away from one. Brown brings him down. LSU calls a timeout. Notre Dame lining up the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Dunbar signals for a fair catch. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they go in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You're getting excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. First and ten. They'll set up shot at the 35-yard line. The Tigers line up with five receivers. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it out there. Someone got a hand on it. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, LSU 21, Notre Dame 10. LSU got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Bennett fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 17-yard line. They line up in an eye. The Irie line up in an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Going deep. Lays it out there. Someone got a hand on it. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it. But the defender stepped up and made the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 17. High formation here. And now the ball is loose. And the offense will recover. And the offense came up with a ball somehow. The quarterback was very fortunate right there. You can bet he holds on to the ball with both hands next time he gets it. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 10. The defense lines up with 6 DB. He steps up, looking. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. He put too much on that throw. That's his big tight end, and he's definitely not a track star. I think the quarterback just overestimated his speed. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. It's off, and it is a dandy. Dunbar takes it to 47. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. So they find themselves on top to start the second half, and I think we all know why. Are you kidding me? Everyone who's at home watching this game knows why they're winning the running game. The running game? More like the running back. He's the main reason they went into the half with the lead. You're right, Kirk. I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise, though. I mean, heck, 
Isn't he on the cover of their media guide? Well, I couldn't tell you who's on the cover of the media guide, but I can tell you is that this young man is going to be the reason they win this football game. Just keep giving him the ball, and he'll pick up the yards while the clock runs down. They line up in a double tight set. Johnson takes a handoff. Can't pick him up. Williams. Brings him down for a loss. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. Third and long. Ball on the 40. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Powell drops back, steps up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. And they're ready to punt this one away. Overstreet punts it, and it's a good one. Butler calls for the fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Bat fakes a handoff. He throws it, and it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds. They're stopped two yards behind the line. It's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 18. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled. That's a nice six-yard gain. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on 24. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble. Reynolds comes away with a sack. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Dunbar takes it to 25. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 31-yard line. Powell comes to the line with three wide. Here's the give. He step on. Lewis with a takedown. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four. Ball on the 37-yard line. LSU sets up in the eye. Powell, back to pass, rolling out to the right side, he's going left, incomplete pass, and that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. He gets another carry, bounces off the would-be tackler, and they make the stop. That line came off the ball and just kept their feet moving and knocked them back. Good blocks and great running by the ball carrier also. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. The Tiger go with the odd formation. He's hit and got away. He jukes him. And he 
he's taken down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. LSU lines up in a bunch formation. Johnson gets it on the inside. Still on his feet. Soul brings him down. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 38. They line up in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. There's a missed tackle. There he goes. Soul with a takedown. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and ten. Ball on the 22. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. Touchdown, LSU! As a player, coach, you've got to be excited for a guy that's rushed for four touchdowns. But that offensive line's getting my pat on the back. They've done a tremendous job in front. Absolutely right, Kirk. Yes, they have. They've been wonderful. Tacks on the extra point. Let's take a glance now for the Pontiac Drive Summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. Butler feels it in the end zone. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 20. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. He tries to spin. Holly brings him down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ace backfield. Lamb will run it again. They'll bring him down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. First and ten. Ball on their own 31. The defense lines up with six DB. They hand it off. And he's hit hard. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for it. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 30. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Rolls right. Down the middle. Jets attack. Benjamin with a takedown. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Nickel defense. Keep it on the ground again. And down he goes. Couldn't get anything out of that. No gain on the play. 
So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Notre Dame in a five-wide set. Rifles it right side. Complete. And he's tackled. To the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It's third down and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Irie set up in the gun. Bat set to go to the air. Throws it to the outside. Walker brings him down. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. They line up to punt this one away. Hangs it up high. Mason signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 12. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. The Tiger go with the eye formation. Play action. He's going left. And it's the tight end. And he's tackled. That was a big time play and a new set of down. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. Powell off the fake. Looks. Going deep. It's high and he makes the catch. Got a stat for us, coach. Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, his total yards for the day is over 100. turns up when in the red zone and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. They've got about a hundred tight ends in there for this goal line play. Breaks one. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the play. Crowd in that line of scrimmage. He juked. No gain. On the run. No gain on the play. They put everyone up on the line. Again, he'll get the call. And he's stopped behind the line. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Butler fields it in the end zone. 
They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll set up a shot at the 19-yard line. Bat goes with the play fake over the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Hello, sweetheart. Now that's how to break up a pass. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch that one. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 19. Bath with three wide receivers. Lamb gets a pitch. Over the middle. Batted ball. That close to being intercepted. you got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 19. The Irie had five receivers on this play. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Throws it to the outside. The ball is tipped. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The Fighting Irish line up the punt. He gets it away. Dunbar fields it at the 42. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 44. The Tigers go with the I formation. Powell hands it off. Elliott with a takedown. Gain of a yard by the fullback. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. Takes on the tackle. And they make the stop. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up in an eye. Johnson, again, gets past the tackle. And he is drilled. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. LSU goes with the ace set here. Johnson will run it again. Shifty move there. Brought down. A five-yard gain. Five-yard gain on the play. Third and five. Ball on the 40. High formation here. Powell with the play fake. He rolls out to the right. Long ball, right side. Brings it in. Touchdown. Do they have that defense guessing now or what? I mean, did you see how well the quarterback hit the ball? Yeah, some quarterbacks are just so good at selling the play action. It's truly an over next skill. You take my friend Kirk here, for example. He wasn't known for his speed, but boy, he could do a good play fake. Are you calling me slow? This is coming from a guy whose nickname is based on his foot speed. Isn't that right, Scooter? Yeah, left out Sunshine. It's Sunshine Scooter, sweetheart. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Lines up for the kickoff. LSU is lined up for the kickoff. Yeah. 
Kicks it deep. Butler fields it in the end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Notre Dame lines up in a double tight set. They go with a pitch to the right. And he's tackled. Three-yard pickup on the toss. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. They line up in an eye. They're going to pitch it. Gould brings him down. He got back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 23. The defense lines up with six DB. Bat, back to throw. He's going right. It falls incomplete. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Dunbar fields it for 30. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. He's knocked out of bounds. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 45. LSU goes with the ace set here. Drops back and pass. Throws. And it's the senior. And down he goes. And they pick up two yards. Gain of two on the play. Third and eight. Ball in their own 47. The Tiger come out in a shotgun. Little shake and bake move. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. About six yards on the quarterback draw. The Tiger line up the punt. Overstreet boots it way up there. Perry calls for the fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 20. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. Bat hands it off. He's hit, got away, and he's tackled. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Five-yard gain on the play. Second down and five. Ball in the 25. Going with the shotgun here. Bat drops back to pass. He's looking. He passes it. And got him! Brown with a takedown. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and ten. 
Ball on the 17-yard line. Lamb lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Back to pass. Down the middle. Hauls it in for the touchdown. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he tacks on the extra point. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, LSU 38, Notre Dame 17. All lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Bullocks fields it at the one. Gets that one. So the offense takes over. And the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll set up shot at the 24 yard line. The Tigers come out the shotgun. Looks. Throws. Intercepted. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. That's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. And that's why a pass rush is so crucial to a defense. It allows you to intercept those passes from the table. They'll, take over at the They'll go to work at the 39. Notre Dame comes out with an eye formation. Road. Brings him down. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six. Ball on the 43 yard line. One man back to you. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Incomplete. Third and six coming up. Ball on their own 43. Bat lines up in the shotgun. And down he goes. The Fighting Irish line up the punt, punts the ball away. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 17. Ace backfield. Throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. Well, the players love to run these types of plays because it's out of the ordinary of what they usually do on offense. So when they finally call the play, you have to execute it because you don't get many chances to do it again. And I think they have the wrong guy throwing the football, but I guess that's why he's not the real quarterback. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 17. The Tiger line up in an eye formation. Johnson gets the carry. Missed tackle. Brought down. A nice six yard gain by the tailback there. Hey. 
It's third down and four to go. Ball on the 23. The Tigers come to the line with their jumbo package. Can't wrap him up. And they make the stop. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Butler takes it to 28. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing for them last time. And maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. First and 10. Ball on their own 30. Back. Comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. He's looking down the middle. And he dropped it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Keep an eye on that cornerback down there. He has big play potential. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Walker with a takedown. That's four yards on the play. Gain of four on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 34. The Fighting Irish with four receivers. Drop back to pass. Looking. Wants to throw outside. And it's incomplete. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. Well, that Kirk, he was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Shotgun, back to pass, steps up, throws it to the outside. Got it, ball. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, they had to go for it. They're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. play action he's looking deep pass down the right side and they push him out and the wideout couldn't drag a foot yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play so it's second and ten ball in 34 the Tigers come out in a bunch formation Inside give, makes a move, and down he goes. Just about three yards there. Three-yard gain on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 31. From the gun, Powell steps back to pass, and he dropped it. Rock pass. That'll drive the coach case. That'll drive the quarterback case. And that'll drive the fans case. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. They're going to try a long field goal here. It's up. Looks long enough. And it's right down the middle. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Kendrick is lined up to kick this one off. 
He boots it deep downfield. Butler fields it in the end zone. Confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. The last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. They line up in an eye. Bat drops back on first down. Throws to the middle. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Notre Dame sets up in the eye. Lamb on the give. Loose football. The defense says they've got it. And they do. They turn the ball over to the defense with that fumble, and the head coach has got to be upset with his halfback after that one. Any coach would be upset after his running back fumbles. The first thing the running back learns is how to grip and secure the football. Well, hopefully he shakes it off and forgets about it. There's nothing he can do now. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. One man backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Elliott brings him down. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. Powell will hand it off. Tries to juke. There he goes. Touchdown, LSU. And that's his fifth rushing touchdown of this ball game. Five touchdowns in one game is something you can get away with in high school. But not in college football. We're witnessing a truly amazing performance by this young man. the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. LSU is ready to kick it away. Butler and Bennett back to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Butler fields it in the end zone. So the offense comes out after their last drive. Had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. They'll set up shot at the 20. The Fighting Irish come out showing three wide. Hicks brings him down for a loss. Now that's what I'd love to see. A linebacker who plays downhill against a run. That guy knows exactly what the heck is going on out there. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Notre Dame lines up with three receivers. Play action. And down he goes. Sacked again. That's number eight. It's one big sack party out there. I feel sorry for this quarterback. He's taking a beating. He's been taking some serious hits all day long, Lee. The coach might want to get him out of here before he gets hurt. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 15. Bat with three wide receivers. Bat drops back. Steps up in the pocket. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Number nine. They got to him again. We've seen it all today from the defense. Blitzing, covered sacks, blown assignments. This unit has been embarrassed by the defense here today. Notre Dame ready to put this one away. Yeah. 
Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Bullock fields it at the 38. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. With this game being a blowout, I guess the coaches decided to give the backup quarterback some time. Gibson with a nice play pick. Looks. He goes downtown. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. LSU comes out with three receivers. Bump. They'll drop him for a loss. They lost too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without some blocking. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball on their own 39. LSU goes with the ace set here. Gibson set to go to the air. He's going left. Finds a man. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. They line up in an eye. Good move. Big opening. Garrett with a takedown. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. One man backfield. Gibson pitches out to the right. They might want to run away from that guy next time. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 33. They'll work from the shotgun. Drop back to pass with the throw. And it's caught. A pickup of five. Five-yard gain on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 28. Going with the shotgun here. Back to pass. He steps up, looking. Aaron and out long. Brings it in. Touchdown. This guy can really run away from a defense, though. Listen up. This kid is a big time defense. He has that kind of speed. Tacks on the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. like they're ready for the kick. He puts it deep downfield. Butler fields it in the end zone. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Play action. He's going right. It's deflected, and it falls incomplete. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out in a nickel. And he's 
taken down. He's been taking it to the opposition all game long. This halfback has run over, around, and through this defense. This kid's a good-looking football player. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. He drops back. He gets the pass away. It falls incomplete. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Toss to the right. Broke away from one. And they hit him in the backfield. So the toss play to the tailback goes nowhere. Third and 12 coming up on this one. This is the fifth play of this drive. Bass lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's drilled as he throws. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. They send out the punting unit. Johnson punts it, and it's a good one. Bullock fields it at the 19. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Flipping on the receiving team. After this pitch comes, that one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. It's first and ten. Ball on the 12-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. Complete. Great concentration. And we got an injured player on the field. It seems to me that he landed on his arm a little awkwardly. Second and one. Ball on their own 21. The Tigers line up with three wide. He drops back. Throws. And it's caught. Garrett brings him down. That's a smart and safe play by the quarterback. You're absolutely right. Good decision. Nothing risky. Just throw the short pass and pick up the first down. It's first and ten. Ball in the 23. LSU comes out with an eye formation. He's gobbled up in the backfield. How about that stop? I uh, hear the linebacker uses his speed to come up with a huge stop behind the line of scrimmage. Right. Second down and 12. Ball on the 21. 21 yard line. Right. LSU comes out in the shotgun. He lets it go. Complete. Garrett with a takedown. They pick up two on the pass play. Gain of two on the play. They're down and 10 coming up, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers line up with four wideouts. He's looking. He steps up. He unloads it. Oh, what an interception. And that interception might be what they needed to get back in this ball game. A nice try, Brad. Keep their hopes up, but I don't think they have a chance of winning this. They're too far down to catch up. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Notre Dame comes out with five receivers. Throw short. Cox brings him down for a loss. No gain. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball in the fifty. Bad. 
Has four receivers lined up here. Lamb on a pitch out. He jukes him. Bryant brings him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ace backfield. Nice play fake. He tosses it short. And it's caught. Beer with a takedown. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 26. The Irie come out in the ace formation. Lamb will run it again. Got an opening. There's the stiff arm. McKinley brings him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Back. Hands it off. He jukes. They'll bring him down. Four-yard gain by the back. The Fighting Irish line up in a goal line formation. Well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. The simple handoff to the fullback got it done right there. Yo, give it to the big bulldozer and get out of the way. And he hits the PAT. Over five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And the score is LSU 55, Notre Dame 24. Try to hit it just right so they can get a high bounce. Here's the onside kick. He's hit and got away. There's a fumble. Hicks with a recovery. Excellent field position to start the drive. LSU comes to the line with three wide. The shake and bake move. Tackle. About six yards on the quarterback draw. Second and four. Ball on the 40-yard line. LSU sets up in the eye. Wilson on the give. Lewis with a takedown. Well, he worked hard for those yards, Coach. Yeah, Brad, this kid is a hard-nosed football player. He gives him that kind of effort on every single play. It's first and ten. Ball on 34. The Tigers come out in a two-tight end set. Elliott brings him down for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Second down and 12. Ball on the 36. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. Oh, what a move. And down he goes. The halfback picks up a yard. Third and 11 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tiger set up in the gun. Back to pass. Looks. He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. 
The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. And this will be a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. And it splits the upright. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. LSU to kick this one off. Bennett and Butler deep to return. Kicks it off. Butler fields it in the end zone. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll get the ball here at the 22. High formation here. Bat, little toss to the right. He's going to try to throw. And he got it. Weber brings him down. Knowing that some coaches don't like to run these types of plays, I'm sure they're happy to just get a few yards and that they didn't turn it over. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 29-yard line. And the man at wideout is in the zone right now. Lamb gets it on a pitch, and they stop the halfback for a loss. Now let me tell you something, that toss play had no chance whatsoever. The defense was all over it. Third and four, ball in the 28. They line up in the jumbo set. Allen with a takedown. Well, Kirky managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. And they get the sack. They just hit double digits as a team. They're up to 10 sacks. This defensive unit is dominating. 10 sacks. Wow. Hey, Lee, the offensive line coach might want to look at putting his house up for sale. He's not going to be at this school much longer if these guys keep playing like that. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 28. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Hicks brings him down. Maybe a few, but that's it. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Notre Dame comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Bat drops the throw. Looking. Steps up. He tosses it short. Got it, ball. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. The Irish are lining up to punt it away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Bullock takes it to 20. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shot at the 20. They come out in a goal line set. Gibson hands it over. Elliott with a monster hit. He just went right through him. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kurt. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Right. 
Second and 11 coming up. Ball on their own 19. LSU comes out with two tight ends. They'll give it off here. There's a missed tackle. Butler with a takedown. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on their own 22. The defense lines up with six DB. Gibson goes with a play fake. He rolls left, throws this one out to the left. Picked off. Nice interception. Too bad they weren't playing like this to start the day. Uh, their defense took a little too long to get into this football game. But don't give up on them, you guys. Not yet. They're still playing football out there. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. Bass comes to the line with three wide. Sheds a tackler. Brought down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. Bass drops back on first down. Across the middle. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Second and 10, ball on the 24. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Lamb gets the call. They'll bring him down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got an inadvertent face mask on the defense. He got a hand on his face mask, but let it go in time. Yep, he didn't use a face mask to make the tackle, so it's a less serious infraction. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone number. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The defense lines up with 6 DB. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the left. Richard brings him down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. game out there. Dominating on both sides of the ball. They've got to feel pretty good after blowing out a team like this. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, LSU 58, Notre Dame 24. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody.